Today we're going to take a look at the outbox. Now, I like to think of the outbox as kind of our traffic control. So anytime we have something being sent, sending, or something that was due to be sent, it's going to be in our outbox. So when we have Sam building out all of our different messages, this is going to be a really place to continue to revisit, stay tuned, and stay on top of. Now, what I'm going to show you inside of the outbox is the different types of messages so that we can really understand exactly what we're looking at. So let's go ahead, let's hop back into the Systems Accelerator Manager, and let's dive in. All right, once we're inside the Systems Accelerator Manager, we're going to navigate to the outbox. Now, what you're going to see on this screen is something very familiar to a lot of the other screens that we've been looking at this far. So far on the left-hand side, I have it organized based on past due, upcoming, sent, and then all of our drafts for any of the messages that maybe we haven't made it to yet are going to fall in that order. Now, the reason we built it this way is because ultimately speaking, this is kind of how we want to prioritize the things. Anything past due that should have been done already through the actions inside the activities of our routines, that's going to be at the very top because those should take precedent. But after that, we've got upcoming or things that Sam is going to be working to send, or um, we can also review our sent messages. Now, something really cool that we built into the upcoming as well as the sent is because you might want to kind of look ahead into the future, you can do that. So if you click on the upcoming little three dots, what you're going to be able to do is set the number of days that you're going to be able to view. So currently I've got eight days into the future that it's going to be looking at for upcoming. Now, if I wanted to back that down to just three, I could set that down to three. Now, because this message sends tomorrow, it doesn't really change. Now, the same goes for sent, but the difference with sent is it's actually going to be going backwards. So this is the number of days into the past, currently being five, but maybe we wanted to look seven days into the past. What have we sent this last week? And now we can look at that. So these are really cool ways for us to kind of adjust our view to keep the outbox nice and organized for us. Now, the other thing that we can also do is on the top right hand side, we can use a couple filters. Now, these are pretty common. You might recognize them from other areas inside SAM, but you can use a filter select uh, by a date range and you can use that date range to help filter out your outbox. Now, the other thing that you can do, if you click this X, it's going to remove that filter. And you can filter by specific areas or groups of specific areas. So maybe I only want to see my drafts, and I also only want to see the sent items. Now, I can filter by all of this, and I can see each and every one of those. So now that we've got all of our different pieces, let's go ahead and look at something that is getting ready to be sent. Now for this to work, we need to go back to our upcoming. So I'm going to go back to our upcoming, making sure that that filter is actually selected well enough. Then I'm gonna click into it. Now, here is where we're able to review the content that Sam has been building for us. So very similar to any other process that we do, we can go ahead and click this edit button. It's gonna bring up the template specifically for us to click into to edit. We can see exactly who it's going to be going to, if there are any CCs or BCCs. And then we can also evaluate exactly when that's going to happen. Now from here, we can either schedule to send it later or we can just send it right now as we're moving through. So if you start thinking about these processes as going through each of your pieces for the day, scheduling when they need to be sent out or just sending them out as you go through them, that's a really good way for you to start building into your your business processes using the outbox that will make your day just very easy to go through. So for this specific one, we're going to go ahead and send it later. And uh, because it's already scheduled to be sent later, it'll close. It's staying as it is, and we're ready to go. Now, the other thing that you can do inside of the outbox is you can send and build one-off messages. So on the top right-hand side, this new message is going to allow us to do that. Now we can either send out emails or SMS, very similar to how we have our templates differentiated, but inherently these are gonna be focused. So from here, I click email, it's gonna open up our email template builder and we can start building out our email message. If I want to open up a template that I already have built, we can also do that as well. And then the other way in which we can send a message is through the SMS, which is the exact same, it opens up, we're able to build a message. We can either click in and type the phone number 
or we can click on this contact section and we can also search for specific phone numbers or we can search for specific contacts to be able to find all of these. Now from here, again, we have the option of sending it now, sending it later, or just saving it as a draft. Maybe it's something that we know we need to build, we know we need to send out, but we're not quite sure when it's gonna get sent out and we just wanna start getting the content created. So this is going to be where we are able to do that. So from here, now all we have to do is keep tabs on our outbox. Each and every day, you should visit your outbox, see what you have past due, and if they are past due, go ahead and get those done really quickly. Once you do that, start working on all of the tasks that you have for today and maybe get a good glimpse of what you have upcoming in the future and you can really start to hone in on all of these different pieces. Now, most of these messages were created by Sam, so not only are we saving time by not having to create these messages, but we are able to use the Outbox in a way that's going to allow us to review this content and fuse ourselves into it and then we can send it on its way or allow Sam to send it on our behalf. So this this is a really cool one. Hopefully this makes sense to you and I will see you guys in the next training.